Mo's Garage. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to Jimbo's Garage. Well, last Saturday, my lovely bride came up to me and asked me if I would replace the floor and the cabinet underneath the kitchen sink uh, due to a little bit of water damage there. And I said, sure, my love, let me just jump right in the truck and run down to the Home Depot and pick up a four by eight sheet of plywood and get back here and get that done for you. On upon arrival, back to my shop right here with this four by eight sheet of Chinese plywood right here. I was quick to discover that in my drop area with my lumber back here, I had a piece of plywood that was already the right size that was going to do the job for inside the house. Got that project done for my wife. She couldn't be happier. On the other hand, I am stuck with a 4 by 8 sheet of plywood that is in my way, constantly in my shop. I have nowhere to put it and I got to do something with it. So after several adult beverages later, I come up with a design and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a hat rack. As my regular viewers know, I have a hat collection and I've got literally hundreds of hats. Of course, that's all I'm not going to work in this cabinet that I'm going to make, but it'll help. So I've got some drawings right here and I want to show you guys what, what I plan on doing, but I want you to keep in mind, it is only plywood. This is not a fine finished piece of furniture. It probably is going to go on the wall of my shop and it's going to house 15 hats in an organized fashion. So with that said, let me show you the design. Get started on this project. Okay, so here we go. This is a simple little project that's basically going to be 30 inches wide. It's going to be about 33 and a three quarters of an inch tall. Uh, each space is going to, I got some dimensions here. Uh, each space is going to be about nine inches by six inches and I've got room for 15 hats in here. Now this thing's going to be eight inches deep and again we are making this out of just regular shop Chinese plywood. This is no fine finish uh, piece of furniture so let's try to keep the criticism to a minimum. With that said let's get started. Okay so we got started by putting that uh, piece of three quarter inch Chinese plywood up there and starting to cut things out. Now we're using a new uh, DeWalt track saw here today sent out by our friends from DeWalt. This is the first time I'm actually using this thing. This is a perfect thing for me. Uh, you know, I, don't have a, I don't have a table saw that's big enough to cut four by eight sheets of plywood and this thing here is a quick and easy way to cut out plywood. Uh, this track system is awesome. It comes with a four foot track and also an eight foot track if you're going to cut the long ways. And, uh, you know, this thing really worked out good. It's fast, it's efficient, and does a perfect job cutting plywood. So I started by, by cutting out all the pieces that I need. And uh, once I got everything all cut out, uh, that worked out really good. Make short order of that. Then I started laying out the, the pieces that I need, and uh, you know what? Uh, the thing with the, this, this Chinese plywood it, I need to point out is it's about 3 sixteenths of an inch, or maybe 3 thirty seconds of an inch, shy of 3 quarters of an inch. Uh, U.S. plywood is maybe a 30 second of an inch off. That, uh, it poses a little bit problem on this project as we move along, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. But... Uh, Anyways, once I got everything all uh, measured out, I took everything over to the chop saw and cut everything to length that I needed. And, uh, you know, that, that Bosch table saw, it really works good. I'm, I'm, that was a good uh, a good investment for me. You see I'm setting up a stop block on the very end because I have a lot of these nine and a half inch pieces to cut. And once I got those set up, man, it was just bing, 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 cutting these things right through. Made for a uh, really fast uh, project. Now here is a sled that I made about three months ago for my table saw and I gotta say I made it and I've never used it up until now and the reason why I'm using it here is because like I had mentioned I don't have a I don't have a dado uh, cutter or dado blades for this table saw that it just doesn't fit the arbor is too small so I uh, I had to dado these all these and then I thought well I'll use my router with uh, the three-quarter gouging bit and then of course that is a true three-quarters of an inch because this plywood is is a lot thinner than that uh, it, it was a sloppy joint so I went to the sled here and uh, made my own uh, measurements so the dado cut would be nice and tight and I set up some stop blocks as you see right there and I just ran everything through there and uh, the 
they fit in there perfectly. So, you know, that really worked out good for me. Um, like I said, I, I made it. I made this uh, sled and never used it before up until now. And I got to say, that thing worked out pretty clean. And here we are. Got everything all cut out and uh, just starting the assembly. And I'm just gluing and nailing everything together. And uh, I, I got to say, this thing fit smoothly and put together nicely. Everything fit perfect, which is pretty unusual for me. There's always a problem somewhere along the way. And you know, I'm able to just uh, put some brad nails and some glue. And as you can see on the inside piece right here, I'm able to actually get a few brads on the inside of that dado right there. And I'm able to do that on at least uh, two more pieces. But that, the last section, I'm not going to be able to get uh, any brads. I'm going to rely on the glue to hold it in place, which I'm sure will be just fine. But as you can see, this thing is coming together really nice. I uh, Again, much to my surprise, there's usually an, always an issue with me somewhere along the line. But uh, things are just falling into place really good right here. And those last pieces just drop right in. And um, I just nail it up. And once I got it all nailed together, yeah, you know, check it for square. Uh, yeah, I was out just a little bit. So now I just want to get a couple clamps on here and get a clamp diagonalized and pull. You can see it pulled it into square. And there you go. I got it nice and square. So I don't really like the uh, plywood finish to the face. So I thought I'd put a little, I had a piece of walnut right here. And I thought, well, why don't I just... Uh, Take some walnut and make some thin slices and uh, and uh, put some walnut on the face of the plywood so I'm not looking at that plywood finish. You know, it's just something that I thought of right at the spur of the moment. That's the way it is with me. I just kind of build as I go along right here. And, and uh, here I am using my table saw table. And that thing is really, I'm really excited about that thing. Worked out really perfect for me. And uh, there we go. I'm cutting. I had to cut a lot of slices out here. They're a little bit thicker than a quarter of an inch thick. I didn't want to have them too thin, but I wanted to have them thick enough that, uh, you know, they would look good. So there it is. And so, you know, there's the plywood front. I just didn't like that. So that's we're going to enhance it with this walnut. And I thought it might give it that finishing touch. Everything was perfectly smooth and flat when I assembled it. So I didn't have much sanding to do. Well, I went ahead and we're, now we're just going to glue everything down and start putting on this uh, walnut face. And once again, uh, everything is going in here really nice and smooth, you know. I'd, um, and it, it is starting to shape up. And I, I mean, I'm really kind of liking the look that that I've got going on here with this walnut. It's like a two-tone uh, wood, you know, even though it is plywood. But, uh, you know, this is going to give it a, a, nice, a nice finishing touch to the front of this thing. So I'm just finishing up uh, putting these pieces on. And then uh, I had to go cut a bunch of... Uh, small pieces to fill in and once I did that and I went ahead and just uh you know glued and nailed those things down and there it is so I took my router and just finished it off with an eighth inch rounding over bit all the way around inside and out and that really to me made the finishing touches really smooth and really nice and, and I really like the way that uh, turned out and I just sanded it uh, nice and smooth and getting ready to accept uh, a stain that uh, I'm going to put on this thing. Now, I was, uh, wasn't going to put a back on it, uh, but I decided that uh, I think it would look better with the back on it. So there it is. I took my uh, track saw, pretty handy, and uh, cut out the size I needed, and then sanded it down. And then I stained this piece first because I thought once I got it on the back, it would be really hard to, to stain those pockets. So I got this thing cut out and stained and set this thing aside. And then I started the process of uh, staining all the way inside and out of uh, this hat rack. And, you know, it took a little bit of time, you know, to get it done. But, hey, it's really starting to look pretty good. And, and I'm really pleased the way this turned out. And Once I got all this done, and I went ahead and put the back on this thing. And, uh, hey, I, I, I have to say I surprised myself. This turned out a lot better than I was hoping for. It was a great project. made from a piece of plywood that sitting around that I have no place to store. Uh, chopped it all up and made something nice that's going to hold my hats. I uh, got, got a little carried away and put this walnut trim around the very front because I didn't want to see the plywood finish, but uh, uh, put a little, uh, some just some clear coat down there with some poly just to give it a little tint. All in all, 
turned out pretty good and it's going to work perfect. What I'm using it for is a hat rack. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe for more videos. See you next time on Jimbo's Garage.